Welcome to Success Talks with Rodney Salisbury. We'll join Rodney right after this very brief message. The reviews are in. The latest book from voiceover superstar and coach Rodney Salisbury is another runaway hit. Readers from all over the world are raving about his newest title, Tongue Twisters and Vocal Warm-Ups. Complete with nearly 200 pages of real-world lessons, Rodney teaches techniques to combat everyday performance issues that voiceover professionals encounter every day. You can find this and his other titles at the top of the voiceover bestsellers list on Amazon.com. I am really excited about this particular episode of Success Talks, and I'll tell you why. We all grew up liking things like basketball and baseball, especially in Detroit where I grew up, football. But little did we know about the game of tennis. African-American kids around the country got to know more about tennis because of Arthur Ashe. It's a lot like what uh, Tiger Woods did for golf. Arthur Ashe did it for tennis. And so I am proud to talk about this great man, Arthur Ashe. Arthur Ashe Jr. was one of the most prominent tennis players of his time. He was ranked among the best players to have ever graced the game. He was the first black to be ranked number one in the world. He started playing tennis from the age of six and received coaching from the legendary Robert Walter Johnson, who founded the American Tennis Association Junior Development Program for African-American youths. After graduating from high school, he earned a tennis scholarship to University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA. He was the first African-American to be selected to play for the United States Davis Cup. He also became the first black to win the United States Amateur Championship. He went on to win many more titles over the next few years, and he created several new world records. Unfortunately, health issues forced him to take an early retirement, but still he was not disheartened. He used his celebrity status to campaign for various social causes, notably the fight against apartheid. Let's talk about some of the highlights of his career. He won his second Grand Slam singles title at the Australian Open in 1970. That same year, he turned professional by signing a five-year contract with Lamar Hunt's World Championship Tennis. In 1972, he helped to form the Association of Tennis Professionals, ATP. In 1975, Ash played the Wimbledon final against Jimmy Connors, who was a 10-to-1 favorite in the final. Ash played brilliantly and defeated Jimmy to win the Wimbledon in an excitingly unexpected match. Three sets to one, as a matter of fact. What made this victory even more special was the fact that Ash was a lot older than Jimmy, and it was Jimmy who was expected to win, not Arthur Ashe. Unfortunately, he had a heart attack in 1980, and even after he stopped playing, he kept himself busy by commentating for ABC Sports and writing for Time Magazine. That's the kind of guy Arthur was. He didn't let anything get him down. He had a desire to help people. He cared about more than himself, so no matter how sick he was or how many health challenges he had, his goal was to make the world a better place. Arthur Ashe was inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame in 1985 as an honor for his contribution to the sport of tennis. In 1988, it was discovered that he was HIV. He had contracted the virus from a tainted blood transfusion during his previous surgery. He went public with his illness in 1992 and began to work to raise awareness about AIDS. He founded the Arthur Ashe Foundation for the Defeat of AIDS. Unfortunately, he died from AIDS-related pneumonia in 1993 at the age of 49. Arthur Ashe, a fighter and a man who will long be remembered not just for his talent as a tennis player, but for his integrity and his belief that all people are created equal. And we here at Success Talks are proud to celebrate the wonderful career and the legacy of the great Arthur Ashe. You can listen to any of Rodney's podcasts at any time. Go to RodneySalisbury.com. I hope you enjoyed this podcast, and I urge you to listen to future podcasts, where I will continue to try and make you better than before. My goal is to point you in a positive direction to success right here on Success Talks with me, 
Rodney Salisbury. Change my life.